Five years back, in the year of 2017, there was a girl in this small village in Kerala who had gotten the golden ticket to her dreams. She always wanted to become a doctor and finally she had a chance to. Before boarding the bus from Kerala to Bangalore, her relatives, parents gave her a very valid piece of advice. No matter what happens in your life, always try to stay positive. Keep a smile on your face constantly and that's how you are gonna tread through life. So she kept that advice close to her heart. The first few months were a little harsh on her. A new place, new people, a different language, but she did what was asked to be done. She kept a smile on her face and she faced all the obstacles bravely until she started falling sick. She started getting pain all over her body. She couldn't get up from bed anymore and the exams were very, very close. She still didn't care. She was advised to keep a smile and that's exactly what she did. Until one fine day, she collapsed in the middle of a class and she was rushed into the emergency room. She was diagnosed with grade 3 hydronephrosis, which is a condition in which water keeps building up in your kidney until it slowly starts failing. She was rushed from hospital beds to hospital beds, IV cannulas haunting her veins and all throughout the journey, she was holding on to her dear textbooks, her anatomy, physiology and biochemistry textbooks because she didn't want to lose her dream. I am Dr. Maria Susan Roy and I am the girl who almost lost her left kidney 5 years back because I tried to be too positive. Now that I think back on this story, I laugh a little because I didn't lose anything, I almost lost my kidney. I still managed to pass the exams and I did pretty good too. But the haunting question is, how many people lose their lives or give up on their battles just because the people around them try to ask them to stay positive? To each and every one of you in this room, my question is, is too much positivity a bad thing? Or is toxic positivity not talked about enough in our society? No matter your age, your gender, your sex, your ethnic background or religious backgrounds, you always come across these phrases. Something like good vibes only. You always have that one friend in your circle who says whenever you hang out with me, you get only good vibes. I'm a chill person. Or some people will tell you every dark cloud has a silver lining. Or the most confusing one of it all is everything happens for a reason. Maybe you broke your leg in an accident, but hey, at least you're alive. You all come across these things and sometimes it makes me wonder how much positivity is actually good. We live in a world that is obsessed with being happy. Everybody wants to be happy 24-7 and when we fail to do so, we blame ourselves and each other around us. There's a famous saying in Malayalam which goes Adhigam ayal amrudam visham which means if taken in excess quantities, even the elixir of life is a toxic poison. Let me give you a very simple example. This is an age-old story that has been told to each and every one of us. If I give you a glass and fill it up to a half mark with water and I ask you the most oldest question to ever exist in history, is your glass half full or half empty? What will your answer be? You are always expected to answer that my glass is half full and in case if you answer it's half empty, people tell you you are a pessimist or you are a negative person. But the truth is, no matter how much you try to ignore the sad half part of the glass, it's always going to be half empty. And no matter how many decades or years you tell yourself, it's not half empty, it's still got to be half empty. Until and unless you acknowledge the fact that yes, it is empty and maybe I should fill it up with more water so that it's not empty anymore. This is how toxic positivity works. You keep treating your symptoms but never the diagnosis. You keep treating whatever happens to you but the root cause is gonna keep building up until it blows up on your face. That is why toxic positivity is an evil thing that nobody talks about anymore. Now, the age old question is how do you identify toxic positivity? So everything that is being told that is positive in your life is not necessarily a bad thing. Positivity should be there in your life. But sometimes positivity can be a bad thing. Imagine a case scenario. Today is a Saturday, right? It's a Saturday evening and you just finish your work or your job and you go back home. The bus is so busy, everybody is sweating on you, your earphones are not working anymore, you feel so frustrated and you finally get home. You have clothes to wash, dishes to do, your kids are crying, your wife is annoying you. And you scroll through your phone and you see all your colleagues or friends going out, partying, having fun and you just feel like you're stuck in your life. 
you call upon your significant other or your friend and you tell them i feel like i'm a hamster in a wheel i keep running but i don't reach anywhere i feel like all my days are identical and there will always be that one person who tells you don't be such a negative nelly i know you're depressed in your life but don't you have a roof over your head don't you have food to eat in the evening don't you have people who love you and all of a sudden you feel selfish you feel bad for actually acknowledging the fact that you're not doing good in your life and you tell yourself maybe i should just keep staying positive maybe if i smile through the pain it will go away you never acknowledge the actual issue until it blows up on your face now how do you manage toxic positivity unlike you think it's a two faceted aspect Sometimes you are the person who is receiving the toxic positivity from your friends or colleagues. Sometimes you are the problem. You might be the one who is perpetuating toxic positivity to your friends without even knowing. So what is the solution to the two aspects of toxic positivity? If you are the person who is receiving toxic positivity, I want you to label your thoughts. Just like you label sugar and salt in your kitchen, whenever you have a problem, sit down with the problem. and try to label why the problem is happening to you recurrently and why are you not able to manage it if you are constantly failing in your class sit down and talk to yourself why am i failing in class why am i not able to meet the deadline why do i not feel good about my body or my emotions label each and every one of your thoughts now if you are the person who is perpetuating toxic positivity if you are the one who is advising your friends and family to always think positively always remember one phrase this was one of the phrases that was told to me the moment i joined medical school and i still adhere to this advice like my life depends on it whenever you see a person struggling always try to show empathy not sympathy you can always show sympathy on people oh he is doing bad i feel bad for you but for you to stand in their shoes even for a fraction of a second and think about what they are going through to give them empathy can come a long way maybe you might not understand what they are actually going through but at least be a person who can listen to their problems this was one of the reports that was done by adsi ranging from the years of 1997 to 2020 it calculated the rates of suicide among students in india as you can see very sadly the graph never comes down it just keeps going up according to a rough estimate 9000 students take their lives each year because of depression if you round that value one single student takes their life every hour in our country because they feel like they are not being listened to so maybe just maybe if you listen to people and try to tell them no matter what you're going through in life i'm there for you just to listen it can come a long way instead of saying things like everything happens for a reason or good vibes only you can tell that all emotions are valid all human emotions are valid sometimes there are battles you feel like you're going to lose and it's okay it's okay to give up on some things just because you feel like you're not reaching anywhere it's okay to feel bad emotions too So today I urge each and every one of you to instead of promoting positive vibes to promote real human emotions thank you